Muslims can also stand for people who are bound by wrong cultures. They also need to hear the gospel. How many people know that Jesus didn't die for the church? He died for the world. Because sometimes we mistakenly need to look as though we are the ones he died for. He died for everyone. Every single person actually legally he saved. His salvation has been, he's done, he's finished. God loves him just as much as he loves any other person right here in this auditorium. He loves any other person like that. So they need to hear that. They need to hear that. We can't be uncertain about this. And we can't make this mandate a backside thing. It has to be the main focus. You see, because that's what God puts priority on. Jesus coming back is actually hinged on the church. You see, because he's exercising patience. He's exercising long suffering until the word of the Lord goes around every tribe, every culture, and everyone can hear the gospel. So if you want to fast track his coming back, you fast track your own assignment. We are the ones holding the king back, and we are the ones that can bring the king back by being obedient to that which he has sent us to do. The church is supposed to be a going church, not a staying church. You know what happens many times? We get saved and we stay in church. The Bible calls us the salt of the earth. It is high time we left the salt shaker and spread ourselves into every region, into every place. The glory of the king is not just that we come to the church to stay. The essence of coming into the church is for training so that you can go back out and do the assignment. So we ought not to just die in church. Make sure, see, you are not just made for the church, you are made for the streets. You are made for the society. Imagine putting the whole sauce that you have inside one soup. Is that what we are trying to replicate in the church? We are trying to just gather and stay in. No, we can't stay in. See, sometimes if you don't do what God will have you do, it will allow certain situations to be created to give you the discomfort that you need. If not for the persecution, who would have visited Samaria? There was a harvest waiting in Samaria. You see, because Samaria was where Jesus had initially gone to. Remember in, in, in John 4, he had already sown certain seeds in certain places. He needed the harvest. So there were certain places that they were just waiting with harvest, about to, about to spoil. If Jesus said in the gospel that the harvest is ripe, what would the harvest be now? We are the light of the world. We are not the light of the church. We are the salt of the earth. We are not the salt of the church. Step out in your environment and preach. Step out. Step out. Step out. Step out in faith. Step out in boldness. What would I say? I don't know. Well, you have the Holy Ghost within you. And that's how we've been teaching. 